All right, I got some bearings out of this wheelchair wheel, and here's the size of them. And this is the steel pipe that I have, and you can see it's not quite the same size, so I'm gonna have to make this pipe a little bit smaller to hold these. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. All right, so we need to know the difference between these two sizes. So the inside diameter of our big pipe is 40 millimeter. And the outside diameter of the bearing about 35 millimeter so 40 millimeter minus 35 millimeter is 5 millimeter we'll multiply that times pi 3.14 and that'll give us the amount we need to take out of the big pipe so 5 millimeters times pi 3.14 equals uh, 15.7 millimeters Okay, there's a curve to this, so we're going to have to use a flexible measuring tape. I'm going to measure off 15.7 millimeters on the inside circumference of the pipe. I'm going to take this to cut it. All right, I was able to cut that out of the pipe. We have a 15.7 millimeter gap. And I'll take it to the vise and we'll bend it together. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the bench vise and I'm gonna make my first bend this section. So the bends are gonna go like an X pattern. So I'm just gonna hold this in there. I'm not gonna crush my finger. I'm gonna hold that in there so I can tell when I'm coming close to meeting up with my bearing that I want to put in here all right that's bend one and I'm gonna bend this one this will be bend two I'll go ahead and make a bend now that they're both together I'll go ahead and bend directly between them all right not bad this is about where we want to be that's gonna hold our bearing and we've turned a larger diameter pipe into a smaller diameter pipe I hope this helps your project thanks for watching my video